More local news now. The Cincinnati Nature Center is transforming into an illuminated forest. And local child's Catherine Robinson is in Milford this morning showing us the light show that is back and bigger than ever. It looks amazing, Chris, uh, Catherine. It, it is pretty spectacular and you know we all get caught up in the hustle and bustle of the holiday season and sometimes just need to take a moment to sit back and relax and if you are looking for some peace during the holidays the Cincinnati Nature Center has it for you with light in the forest. I'm joined by Laura Whalen this morning. Laura thank you so much for being with us. I want to talk to you have really a whole experience here when people come to see light in the forest. We sure do, yes. Yeah. So there's five new light installations this year, which is different from previous years where we've typically only had one. So this year there's five new light installations. We have music in our visitor center. We have great um, gifts for sale in our nature shop. We have an entirely new expanded section of our trail. There's a kids activity. Um, there's hot cocoa and hot coffee for sale. So there's so much going on at Light in the Forest this year. I know you mentioned live music as well. Yeah, so we have um, local schools and churches, just different area performers coming and performing live tunes in our nature center, our visitor center. And I know our viewers right now are getting a chance to see, they've been seeing some of the cool different art installations and the different light projections. What has it been like working with the artists? It's been such a cool experience to get to work with the artists this year. We had a lot of people submit proposals, um, but we had to, you know, kind of be selective based off of the artists that we thought worked best for us and for our site. Um, and, you know, they've all been so great about coming out and picking locations that worked well and that, you know, really incorporated the nature around them rather than juxtaposing the nature around them. They've all done a really good job of just blending and integrating and incorporating with the nature. And they're so cool. I'm so excited for people to see them. It fits right in. It seems like it's supposed to be there. Yeah. Laura, thank you so much for being with us this morning. There is so much that you're going to want to come see and experience here. All of these different light installations and projections. And you can do all of it starting tomorrow night when this opens. It will be open through New Year's Day on select dates. For now, we'll send it back to you in studio. Thank you, Catherine. You can find the ticket information in the Local 12 News app.